Hello and welcome guys you are watching Simply Aquatic for those of you that are new my name is Tristan and today we are talking about aquarium lighting so first of all for those of you that know everything that you need to know about lighting go ahead skip ahead as you can probably tell by this title I've got two lights that I want to show you guys that I think could potentially be the perfect solution for shrimp breeders you know large fish keepers not like large as in big fish but like large as in you've got like a whole bunch of tanks if you're someone like me i think i might have found the perfect solution please this is my opinion don't just take my word for it go do some research of your own please comment down below if you're using something similar or you know have something that you think i should go check out i'm always keen to learn new things but i'd like to start this video off just by giving you guys a basic overview over the different kinds of lighting that you get you've got four different kinds of lights you've got leds which are light emitting diodes you've got cfls which are complex fluorescent lights and then you've got halogen and you've got iridescent now iridescent or incandescent sorry uh, normally will look like this this is an led and it's got a little battery in it but the shape of the bulb is kind of what you would see in your house that's an incandescent halogen i'm not going to talk about neither am i going to talk about the incandescents because personally i have never seen any videos or aquariums using these types of lights as primary light sources for the aquariums everything that i've seen so far is either cfl or led based very very brief history lesson is that cfls are the old school type of lighting like they're still very widely used and, and commonly used they're just a very like old tech when compared to led lighting led a lot more efficient gives you a lot more luminosity for your wattage value basically you're working with like a tiny little diode versus a tube that is filled with to be quite honest with you i'm not sure what they fill it with but i do know from a science perspective that when you shoot an electron through it it reacts i think it's phosphorus it reacts and it puts off light if you really want to understand like the sciencey stuff i'm going to post like a forum down below or a link uh, where you can like get to understand this in depth i don't want to go into it too deeply because i don't want to make like a super long video but to give you guys a very basic understanding a light will produce luminosity out of you know it'll use ele electricity uh, from a wattage value it will produce luminosity and it will do that at a particular color temperature color temperature is measured in kelvin kelvin units so 6000k 4000k that kind of thing and generally the higher the number the cooler or the whiter the light the lower the number the more orange red sort of sunsetty tone you're going to get out of that light there's a lot of other things that we can talk about in terms of ir and uv but i don't think that applies to this video I want to just talk about plants for just like one one second so just bear with me all terrestrial plants go through two stages they have a vegetative stage and they have a blooming or flowering or fruiting stage the plants at these stages use different types or forms of light so when the sun hits the the plant during its vegetative stage it's going to be absorbing a lot of that whiter you know sort of higher kelvin value light and during its fruiting stage it wants a bit more red warmer type of light might not just be glaringly obvious when you first start the hobby is that there are very very few plants in the aquarium hobby or at least underwater plants that flower or fruit personally i don't actually know of any so immediately that makes our lives a whole lot easier by just automatically assuming that any of the plants in our aquarium are going to constantly be in the vegetative stage so what that means for us is that the whiter or cooler light um, produced by leds or specific leds is very very good for us and very helpful the other thing is if you're someone like me and you like to take photos or videos of your tanks or you like looking at your tanks which is pretty much everyone whiter light is going to give us a more natural neutral truer colored tone for instance if you've got blue shrimp and you're using a warmer led or warmer cfl kind of light that gives off a bit of an orange or pinkish hue your shrimp's going to look a little bit different versus when you're using a pure clean white light that's going to give you the true color tone of you know the shrimp's color and then it applies the same for the fish in general for the average sort of aquarium enthusiast or hobbyist i think that's it's a very bare bones outlook as to what goes into lighting but i think it's all you really need to know before you get started with your very first aquarium and your very first light setup now i want to talk about what i think might potentially be the perfect lighting setup and when i say that obviously i mean for my setup and for 
those of you that are going to do something similar to me with multiple tanks or a fish room or something like that especially shrimp breeders like shout out to the shrimp breeders that are watching this this is for you i started with these when i first started my version one of the fish room now if you watch my other video you'd know that behind me is version one and i'm going to show you i'm actually still using these it's a 10 watt 6500 kelvin 780 lumen led it's got 14 diodes in the front and it, it's basically a stoop light and you get these in various different formats you get you know mine are 10 watts because they were perfect for the small tanks that i was using them for you get 20 30 everything up to like 300 watts which is absolutely insane however i will just mention that the light dispersion or the the area that this can cover obviously gets greatly reduced in terms of you know if you in comparison in terms of comparison as the light gets bigger you know so like the 10 watt is going to give you like quite a lot of light a 300 watts also going to give you quite a lot of light but it's still going to be in a in a the space is going to be a lot more concentrated so you can't go and buy a 300 watt and use it for like 10 different tanks on a rack because you're only going to be lighting like the one side if that makes sense the thing i liked most about these lights is the fact that they were super cheap and they're ip65 which is just like an international standard for being able to put it outside in the rain in the sun you know it, these lights can really take a beating and as a result you can have confidence and you know that you know you can put it close to your tank in a very high humidity environment they can get hot they can get cold nothing's really going to kill them um, and the fact that they're nice and small and they plug straight into the wall so they have grounding which makes them safe so if you ever do for some reason have an issue it'll trip the power and you can obviously just bind these together and run a whole bunch of them and power your rack that way now this is a chinese make it's not like something specific i'm pretty sure there's a whole bunch of different ones essentially this is an led batten tube and it's not a tube in like the round sense you do get them where they sort of mimic um the cfls but this is a batten tube so it's kind of like flat and essentially you get them in all different kinds of sizes i got the 1.5s because they have an insane amount of power so these are 45 watt lights they come with 4500 lumens they have a lifespan or it claims to have a lifespan of 25,000 hours and it's running at a cool white of 6500 kelvin so guys I'm, I'm putting some footage in here and you can actually see that these lights are doing a phenomenal job of growing algae in my tanks my plants are doing great my shrimp are loving it they look amazing none of this was like insanely color graded i just had to shoot on a neutral profile and i was able to pick out all these really really nice colors the fish are doing really great and personally for me even though they're a bit higher wattage the amount of luminosity that they're giving out is really worth you know bang for buck kind of scenario now the reason i really really like these even though that they are high wattage they're much more efficient they're actually giving me 100 lumens per watt of energy used whereas these although also efficient are only giving me 78 lumens that might not seem like a lot of difference but for someone like me that's running 2.6 meter racks with a whole bunch of tanks running two of these lights at the top gives me nearly 100 watts or nearly 10,000 lumens of light that's a hell of a lot of light for the tanks that i'm running and specifically because i'm focusing on shrimp breeding that really helps me grow algae walls which is fantastic for biofilm fantastic for the shrimp they love it with a lot more light it makes it a lot easier to take photos and to film stuff in the tanks and i think that you know it might not apply to a lot of you guys but it's definitely a perk for me they're 150 bucks each i bought like I think 12 or 14 of them i bought a whole bunch like extra spares because they're absolutely dirt cheap for what you're getting out of them the fact that they claim 25,000 hours of lifetime i don't know if i'm gonna trust like hello today to do that but i mean even if i get 20,000 hours or 10,000 hours i'll be happy because they're absolutely phenomenal lights so again guys just you know psa this is my personal opinion it's working really really well for my setup however do your own research obviously when you're planning your own room or you're planning your own shrimp breeding racks or whatever it is that you're planning to do understand that your setup might be a little bit different for those of you that are local i got this at a local chinese store it's actually at sable square i'm going to post a link down in the comments below well in the description and then for those of you that are international i'm going to do like an amazon or an ebay link i'll find something that's equivalent to this um, but generally all you need to search for is led batten tube just make sure that you're getting at least 100 lumens per watt of usage then you know that it's like super efficient and if you're someone like me and you like to do like a mass like a big setup 
um, then go ahead and get yourself like a higher wattage one. If you're just running like two or three tanks on a very small thing, sort of like what I have behind me, um, you know, getting a, a shorter one and something that's maybe running like 20 watts, it's gonna be more than enough for the smaller tanks. If you're running a different kind of setup or you have something that you're using that's working for you that you think that I should know about or look into, please do comment below. I love learning new things. I really hope this video has helped you at least in a basic way to understand lighting and its effects on your aquarium. And maybe it can help you when you go shopping for your next light. I am going to be doing a proper review of different types of aquarium lights for aquascaping and for larger sort of scapes on a higher end. Um, this was specifically geared towards larger scale setups on a budget. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead, give me a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have, you are awesome. Continue being awesome and I will see you guys in the next video.